Well, you know the project's a wrap when you've got your teammates out taking videos of the project. And that is a wrap. Patio's done, poly sand just wet it down, water is running, all the cleanup, grade work. We've got Jack Danley over here, we've got Louise. But it is up and running and it is absolutely gorgeous. This patio turned out so, so stupid awesome. Good morning Team Aquascape, DK coming at you. We've got Kobe and Luis. Corey is actually on his way to go pick up some awesome trees for this project. We are starting our day four out here in Chicagoland. Yesterday was a rain day, so we got a lot of efficiency done at the shop, getting the sandbox ready for this winter's sandbox series coming at you. So make sure you check that out. Give you a little rundown on what our game plan is for today out here. The guys are currently digging out for a wing wall we've got to put in with a couple boulders we're gonna extend this retaining wall out a couple more blocks but one more of course on the top then we're gonna jump over here into this corner and get this dug out got a real nice tall landscape boulder that we're gonna sneak in there and then dig this out behind this frame rock to tie in the rest of that retaining wall so that we can start establishing our grade on this berm for our biofalls our spill stone into our main waterfall we've already got set we got a little bit of stone work to do in right here and get our overlap bib liner in back behind there get our biofalls set and then we've got some cobble work right in here on a beach that we're gonna do we've got some plumbing to run on the back side we got a little bit of cobble wash to do right in here and then we are gonna jump in on excavating this patio for the bluestone get all this dirt out we got both trucks here we're gonna load them up and it's gonna be a successful day so stay tuned we'll show you progress throughout the day We had an awesome Friday here on the job site up here in Chi-Town. Let me show you what we got done. We got our retaining wall over on the wing wall so we could set our upper biofalls. We did a nice little cobble wash up through here. We got our seating rock back here in the landscaping set. Finished our retaining wall in the back. Even planted some awesome trees for the homeowners. Got that done. And the big project of the day was getting this patio dug out ready for Monday prep for or base and flagstone. So Monday we'll be working on that. We'll be wrapping up that upper waterfall area, getting that all dialed in, getting our plumbing hooked up. Okay, so we are on the final day of our Chicago project. It's been a while since we've given you an update, but you can see Corey, Luis, and Jack have laid almost all of the large flagging pieces. This is a full color, full range blue stone, irregular. So you can see they're kind of piecing it together like a jigsaw puzzle. We want to make sure that we have nice big slabs, tight joints in between, and then they're going to start cutting everything in. But the patio, as you can see, comes out over that brick wall that we built inside the pond. We're going to go ahead and kind of button up some of the things in the pond get this done these guys are going to make their final cuts and then we're going to go ahead and start filling this pond finishing the edges and getting this patio down so we'll have waterfalls running today this will be done and we'll have everything kind of put back together so we've got a lot of work cut out for us but we are going to i think button up this patio first get this thing done put to bed and then we can go ahead and work our way out the same way we worked our way in so we're going to go ahead and get the saw going start cutting everything and then we'll start leveling everything off and then get it ready for poly sand and then we can fill that pond up and get that waterfalls running. So we've got our patio done now. We just have to wait for the water that's on it. Because we cleaned it, we have to wait for it to dry. Then we'll apply our poly sand. In the meantime, we are going to finish up this edge and kind of work our way back. We've got the last of our tank that's over here that we had staged, ready to go. is almost done. We have about another 75 gallons that we're using to fill the pond with. And then we'll pull that out. Go ahead and get the patio the rest of the way dry. But we'll continue to work back that way. And we're in the home stretch, baby. So let's just keep going. And I love the way the patio 
was turned out. I love that full color blue stone. We still have to come in here, trim all our fabric and top dress with some soil and go ahead and, and put some grass seed down along the edges over here. But it is really taking shape. You can really see now with the water filling the pond, how close and approachable that water level is and the shape of the pond itself. So I love how it's turning out. We've got that waterfalls that we have to button up back in there, which shouldn't take too terribly long. We have all the liner exposed. So once it's running, we can check all of our edges on that left hand side over there and the right hand side, make sure we're good to go. And then it should be ripping and roaring after that. So awesome. You know the project's a wrap when you've got your teammates out taking videos of the project. And that is a wrap. Patio's done, poly sand, just wet it down. Water is running, all the cleanup, grade work. We've got Jack Danley over here. We've got Luis, Corey's out there. You can tell by the cloud of smoke, he's out cleaning the alley. But it is up and running and it is absolutely gorgeous. This patio turned out so, so stupid awesome. It's not even funny. Actually, it is funny at how good we are. But check this out. There's that brick wall underneath. You've got our circulation jets. So we've got one inch line there. We've got one right in the center of the wall. And then we've got another one over all the way in that far corner, pushing all that stuff out of the way. Just like we had talked about earlier in the video. I'm sitting out in front of one of their planting beds underneath the Japanese maple. But there is that three foot tall waterfall, three and a half foot tall waterfall, which is exactly what they wanted. That is a challenging waterfall to build right off the side of a pond and to make it look good. You don't even know where the biofalls is hidden all the way back there. It's just got kind of a nice little meandering action coming out of the biofalls. You see all the way back there, but just a little six inch drop that's fed by the biofalls. And you don't really even see it at all until maybe you get over here. But that's the biofalls all the way back there. We sunk it all the way down and then just kind of let the water roll out of there. Let me zoom this back out. Another really, really neat add on is this bubbling rock over here. You can see it zoom in right along that backside. That's manifolded or that we're stealing water from our three inch line that feeds our waterfall. Now we have a four to seven pump, which is more than enough. So we're stealing a few hundred gallons to feed that bubbling rock. That was the one that we cored out the two inch hole and then stuffed the two inch pipe underneath there. So the ball valves sit all the way back there. You can kind of see that piece of blue right back there. That is the handle for the three inch ball valve that goes all the way up to the biofalls. And then there's a two inch one in the valve box, but just look at that bubbling rock and how it adds so much interest to that corner of the pond. Just a really, really neat thing. The birds will absolutely love it. And it's giving some circulation to what would otherwise be a dead zone back in through there. Then you've got some of these massive weathered limestone pieces right here, which normally would look odd that high out of water, but then you've got a big chunk over there. And of course you have all these tall rocks across. They love the shape of the pond. We've got our skimmer sitting back over here. That's our fake skimmer lid. We've got a little cobble beach and a piece of driftwood over the top of it. There's a aqua surge, two to 4,000 pump that feeds our circulation jets, which you can see right there and across this backside pushing all that water. I think the thing that I love the most other than the patio right up next to the water's edge, but is just the overall shape of the pond. So if I stand back, maybe get an overhead view here, get an overhead view of the shape of the pond. Just this large boulders down here, kind of jutting in and out. And then you've got this peninsula over here, of course, with that contorted, you know, I don't even know if that's a white pine it's some kind of asian pine but it just looks so cool sitting off the edge those unique conifers and of course you've got a japanese actually that's a korean maple that's a north wind maple right there those things are really really cool i have one at my house and then you've got looks like another pine back over there just very very cool of course this japanese maple right there the customers definitely care a lot about their landscape because they've already started putting in some maidenhair fern and scotch moss and some of the creeping jenny and some of those spots on the rocks I'm not sure if the creeping jenny will like it but it looks cool for now but i love the shape of the pond i love the interest of the bubbling rock over there i absolutely love the waterfalls i think the rock is very much to scale with the pond even though it's not a large pond of course we've got this beautiful ginkgo tree that kind of frames out that right hand side but i love it i absolutely love it i love that waterfalls the water circulation just all of those cool elements this peninsula rock just this butt rock is so cool very very cool how it kind of the water 
comes out, goes around, and then just kind of does one of these. Really, really cool. I love the breakup of some of these rock slides as well. You've got one here, definitely one over there. I love that big rock kind of jutting out as a peninsula, and then you've got another one over here. But the patio is one of my favorite pieces. And of course, we tuck a couple boulders in there, and then back over there into the landscape to tie it all back together. So definitely a challenging project. It turned out fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed building it. Until next time, we'll see you later. Also, if you haven't registered for Pondemonium, Pondemonium. If you haven't registered yet for Pondemonium, please do so. You do not want to miss all the fun stuff that Aquascape has planned. The agenda looks killer. Also, I hear there's going to be a Life of Brian story time. So if you guys want to find out why Brian and how Brian got to where he's at in the water feature industry, you don't want to miss Pondemoniums. Until next time, we'll see you later. Later.